What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great week so far and welcome to this new video on Ethereum. I uh, wanted to make a full update on that regarding what happened over the last couple of days, regarding what to expect today and also a little bit in relation to the uh, big day we have today with the Federal Reserve interest rate decision or the US interest rate decision, which will uh, definitely make the market move. And, um, and what we've seen, and I'll also show you a bit about that in the uh, next couple of minutes, uh, is that we have already reacted to news related to that in the last couple of days. So I'll give you a full overview of what to expect in this video. But before that, uh, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, uh, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. Uh, now to Ethereum. So to start off with a full uh, or, or with a quick technical overview, right now it seems like we're just consolidating, so moving sideways. That is also supported by the ADX, which is relatively low, and uh, and the eye test. I mean, it just looks like we're in a consolidation between ultimately 1800 and then uh, 1940 as a resistance. Uh, now we hit that 1840 level uh, because of some uh, like the dollar strength index was relatively strong. It hit resistance as well. That's also why we regained some bullish momentum. But that was quite strong. And, uh, and at, at, at the very same time, uh, Ethereum started dropping. We just had a bearish market opening this week. And then yesterday we got some uh, negative job opening report numbers for the US. Um, which is negative for the US, but that means it's positive for crypto because it's also uh, indicating that perhaps the interest rate decision does not need to hike that much more. Difficult story, doesn't matter. It was bullish, dollar strength index dropped down. This is negatively correlated with crypto. So Ethereum went up again, a, a little bit. Uh, but in terms of market structure, we're still in the same situation. Um, as I said, we hit that lower bound. In the middle, there's kind of this area between 1860 and 1880, and that is where we are in the middle of right now. Um, so what I expect is that, well, I expect bullish momentum to come before and perhaps after, but I'm not too sure about that, before the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. I think, after all, it's way more likely that they will say a little bit more about pausing the rate hikes or perhaps pausing... Uh, po perhaps even in the future, lowering the rates. Um, I think the chances of that are way bigger than that they will keep increasing it. Um, and I did a full research on that. I, I took a look at all of the economic reports over April. Most of it is pointing towards that the inflation is going down, including the inflation rate itself. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's what I expect. And therefore I expect bullish momentum from Ethereum that also, or for crypto and therefore for Ethereum. But that also lines up with the, with the technicals. If you uh, assume that we are in a trend and we just hit the lower bound of the trend, it's more than likely that we were no, now going up to that upper uh, bound. Um, so yeah, we just need to break above 1875, 1880, but I do think we can do that. We'll take a break retest and head up towards 1940. Um, now, depending on everything that's being said at the decision itself and the press conference, we might break above that, but I'm not too sure about that yet. Um, luckily, I will be live streaming during the event uh, this evening. So if you want to follow that live, if you want some live instructions and, and my thoughts on it, go check that out. I will post a, uh, an announcement in the Telegram in the Discord group, so you don't have to worry about that yet. Uh, but um, but yeah, for now, this is what I expect for Ethereum and just in, in general, an overview of, uh, of Ethereum. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Take care today and bye.